Mr. Kevin Samuels was a leader. Mr. Samuels was a teacher. Not only that, Mr. Kevin Samuels was a minister of truth. And he held everybody accountable. So without further ado, I want to give the floor to Brother Guru and I I want to, I want to give you the first question uh, being that when did you first start listening to, to uh, Kevin Samuels? I started listening to Kevin Samuels, I want to say about mid about mid 2019 i've been listening to him about a solid two and a half years but he's been around for some time you know uh <clears throat> he really blew up whenever he started you know somewhat kind of critiquing women and moved over to that gender but he started off talking to us men and he spoke to us i think even worse you know uh brother samuels may he rest in peace you know, he always told us, men, you know, stay on your purpose. He always talked to us about your hygiene and cologne and all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff like that. And, you know, he used to tell us like, hey, a lot of y'all is in y'all mid thirties. You know, you don't have to wear a T-shirt everywhere. Throw on a suit, you know, throw on some slacks, you know, because he was an image consultant. And yeah, I've been listening to him for about two and a half years. And uh, I've learned a lot from him through relationship advice, through family advice, through even trying to carry yourself uh, if you're in the corporate world or as an entrepreneur. But yeah, I've been listening to him for close to three years. You know, uh, when I first heard of Kevin Samuels, I want to say he had about 50,000 followers on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And as, as you see, when he passed, he has 1.4 million. So I watched his platform grow and I wish I was there from day one. Like I, I wish I was one of the first ten people that started following him. How did you? How did you? How did you first hear about him? You know, sometimes. Well, you know, we're on social media, so right. you see things on, on IG, you see stuff on TikTok. Yeah, I'm on YouTube a lot, so just following the Manosphere on YouTube, he was the godfather of the Manosphere, so it was hard. It was hard not to hear about Kevin Samuels and. When I listened to him, you know, there was a few times I felt like I was uh, in therapy. Now, is he a certified therapist? No, but he brought a level of therapy to his show. And, you know, therapy is the treatment, you know, to relieve a disorder. And we have a disorder in the black community of division, so, especially when it comes to relationships. So I want to, before we get into that, I want to ask you, mm -hmm. you would you started listening to him in the beginning beginning when he was well in the beginning of him mainly talking to men about the things that right. we needed to become more uh yes more sir. accountable to and then the things right. that we need to change in order for us to grow as individuals right when you when did you start seeing him switch his content over and speaking to women and addressing the, the issues that he saw within our, our black women to be honest, I I got to him when he was addressing the women, but I feel like I got to him right during the transition. Okay. You know, so you know how like you run into a new content creator and then you start looking at their old work? Sure. That's, That's what happened. I went, Yes, sir. So when I started looking at his old work, I'm like, damn, he used to go hard on us men. Like he has a I don't know if it's a 45 minute video or an hour video, but it was titled things that your dad should have taught you. Mm -hmm. And you know, anybody that know me personally, you know, my parents got a divorce when I was eight years old. So me and my pops, we ain't the closest. So there's a few things that I'm hearing. I'm like, hey, some stuff hurt my feelings, but hey, I'm here to grow. I want wisdom, I want intellect, and, and I want knowledge. And part of uh, accountability is truth. So, you know, uh, like I said, he, he, he teaches a lot like, you know, to me, Kevin Samuels was a leader. You know, he was a teacher. I feel like he was um, I feel like he was a minister of truth. And like I said, I feel like he brought a certain level of therapy to his shows. Now, some people might say, oh, 
he bashes women. I'm like, no, he gives out the same energy that you give out. If you go to his platform, because once again, they call into his platform. You know, if you call into his platform and you talking about there's no men out here, they're they're dirty, they dusty, then he start putting you in check with his facts. Like, nah, 50 to 60% of black men are single and childless.